Good morning, guys. It's uh, John. And once again, we're in the garage. I didn't notice the, it's a lot cleaner now. And got wood stacked in here. Keep it dry. Uh, but had a lot of stuff going on. Been working. And it seems like uh, any time that, uh, that I have to, to do what I want to do, I got something else going on. But uh, so I hope y'all uh, just uh, will you know, forgive me for being so long on a video. But uh, I've uh, I recently put out a poll. Well, put out a question on my social media to some really good friends of mine who are, <clears throat> even though I'm relatively unknown, I've got some really good friends. And uh, like Mr. Craig Cottle and, uh, of Nature Alliance and, uh, and uh, Mr. Roland uh, of uh, NBA. Uh, I got, uh, I got, I had been thinking about survival knives and uh and i think i think craig actually spawned this uh, this this thought process and uh <clears throat> when he made his new knife and if you've not seen his new knife go to nature alliance out and, and check out that new knife it is phenomenal but uh so that kind of spawned some thoughts in my head. So I asked, I asked the guys, I says, uh, when you think survival knife, what do you think? And uh, no heart feelings, but I got the generic answer. And uh, it basically was, this is what people think of in my community as a survival knife. It is four inch blade, full tang construction. Uh, it's uh, tool steel, so it's high carbon steel, spark, throw sparks off the spine. It's got a sharpened spine, it's got the skinny grind, it's all the stuff that Dave Canterbury and, and and all those guys say is a survival knife and that's great that's, that's absolutely wonderful this is is a woodsman survival knife but uh, when I'm thinking about survival knife first thing that comes to my mind is what am I surviving? What have I got to survive against? And uh, and I bought this little toy what I call a toy because I bought it you know back around my birthday around April-ish and uh, and I Bought it just because I wanted it. Well, turns out that uh, it uh, it might be better, more useful than I think. But uh, and it, it, a lot of you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's, it's been posted on a lot of my Instagram posts. And if I, you know if, if I'm posting something, then it may be you know in that picture. But. Uh, and, and Craig got me thinking about it because we think about survival and we just think about the elements. We think about, you know, getting a fire built, getting shelter built, getting, you know, you know all in, in the woods things, you know, doing a, building a, 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 a building traps, building all those sorts of things, all the, the bushcraft stuff. And I think we get stuck in the bushcraft mindset and there's nothing wrong with the bushcraft mindset, 
but I think we need to expand it a little bit. I ain't saying that this is the ultimate save all, end all, none of that stuff. Don't get me wrong. This is just an idea. This is just provoking a thought with you. <clears throat> with the with this survival knife, I can do all sorts of wonderful things, carvings and, and making feather sticks and striking ferro rods and even do a, a, a flint steel off the back of it if I need to, where I can, I can, you know, all this, all you know what I'm talking about, all the good stuff. And uh, but. And I guess I could defend myself with it. And so it'd be, be a decent little little defense knife, I'm sure. But the, mind you, the handle's a little small, and it could get a little sleepy if I hit bone or could get hurt. But anyhow, that leads me to into the subject. What I'm looking at is a Ruger out there. There's another dog around the fence somewhere. This little dude right here. This little dude right here. Yeah, yeah it's a Tanto. Woohoo. Stay away from the Tanto, right? No. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. It's all well good. Let me get this double the blader where I've been using it. It's It's got a little finger guard. You get stabby, I'm not going to slip down onto my edge. And it's, it's sharp. But I can do feather sticks with this. I can I can shave. It'll car. It does a good job. And uh, on the back side of it, I opened, I cleaned it off so that I could do some scraping. You know, I can scrape wood with it. You know, and uh, it'll strike a fire rod. Just good as anything else. I do believe it's a stainless blade though. It's uh, it's the SK5, so I think it is a, a, a high carbon stainless steel, and it is coated. Ooh, stay away from coated, right? And yeah, whatever. But uh, it one of the things that got me thinking about this particular knife and uh, I don't know how much history you guys like but uh, I've always been into the martial arts I've always been into uh, tactical stuff I've always been into the woods and so this just kind of all blends the things that I enjoy together and uh, the samurais, the old samurais of Japan, they carried a small tanto knife like this that, uh, which I'm sure theirs was way nicer than this, but nonetheless, they carried a small tanto knife that uh, they would use for their everyday cutting, everyday survival stuff. They did not use their samurai sword for processing wood, building a fire, building a shelter, doing all the things of survival that they did in, in, in order to, to survive. And uh, yes, they did a lot of the things that we do in bushcraft. It's just their normal getting by. And uh, and I like that, that phrase, getting by. That uh, I got that uh, from a, a, a really cool old guy. And uh, he, uh, sorry about that. I had to take care of some stuff. Uh, and back to what I was saying, I got that phrase from a really good, good guy, good old fella. And David Krolick, he used to have a channel called Wood Smoke Woodcraft. It's now David Krolick Outdoors. Uh, he's uh, he's a really calm, really cool old guy. 
and uh, enjoyed enjoy watching his, his, his bushcraft stuff. <clears throat> and uh, but at any rate, he uh, getting by is is what he his phrasing was on the whole uh, bushcrafting thing. It kind of it, it rang true with me because when I got into bushcraft, it was just to uh, better round out my woods skills, my woodsman skills. And uh, you're allowed. But, uh, but anyhow, we got uh, lots of interruptions. <laughs> uh, that's that, that kind of got me thinking, you know, about this, this, this knife. It, uh, it's a good defense weapon. It's, uh, it, it does the things that I need to do in the woods. That point is actually rather, uh, useful and it uh, it does you know with a couple of modifications of the, you know, the spine and and whatever does exactly what I need to do and uh, but like I say it's not the ultimate survival knife it's just an option something to think about I'm not advocating this is the save all end all this is the one tool option none of that stuff don't even start with that but uh anyhow he's soaking wet it's been raining um but uh i just want to drop something drop that with you uh um got a little off time this week Hopefully I can get caught up on some chores and uh, get my truck put back together. And uh, I might get to get out in the woods, get, get Ruger out. Uh, I doubt I'll do a canoe trip this week, but uh, but probably a, a hike at the park or something with, with Ruger. He would, he would love that, I'm sure, but he don't care. He's... He's always happy no matter where he's at. It is what it is. But, uh, anyhow, y'all, uh, as I say in Mountain Bush Crabbers Alliance, go farther, stay longer, and get out there and have yourself an adventure. Thank you for listening to me.